chief executive officer of uh, Tabua Town Council, the business community of Tabua, the ratepayers of Tabua, the citizens and the public of Tabua, I warmly thank you for being here. This is a celebration for each one of us. Month of October is a very important month in Fiji's history. As you have heard earlier on, on 10th October 1970, Fiji gained independence. And in 2020, that is this month, we will be celebrating 50 years of independence. And it is time for us to reflect, to see what we have achieved in the past and what we can do in the future so that all our citizens' lives is improved. We are able to improve our quality of life. So for Tabua, again, we all have to think about the contribution made by the various people in building Tabua as a town. Tabua was declared a town in 1990s, and today we have 8,800 people living in Tabua. Now, if you reflect past what it was like in 1970 to what it is today, there are a lot of changes that has come about. The world has really changed. I still remember the time that we didn't even have television. And first time the television was introduced in Fiji. There was so much of excitement. Only few houses had television and then the neighbors used to come to those houses to watch movies or to see their programs. Then of course the mobile phones were not there. The telecommunication was extremely poor. We didn't have Facebook. We didn't have Instagram. We did not have Twitter. So you can see in terms of technology we have moved on. But the credit goes to the people who contributed in the development of Tabua Town. And today I would like to pay my tribute to our elders as well as the miners of Batukola. Batukola, as you know, is the gold rock. That's what it stands for. And the development of Batukola as well as the whole of Tabua is due to the mining industry. So Tabua is nothing more than a mining town. It's actually a mining town. And the mining town grew from its initial days where they used to be simply uh, wooden buildings. And you'll only find wooden buildings in the town. Today, the landscape of Tabua has changed. It has changed because of the contribution made by our elders as well as by the miners. People who worked in the mining industry, they know how hard they had to work, the sacrifices they had to make, but yet, their sacrifice has contributed to the growth of Tabua town, and today, we enjoy this particular town, the way it's presented to us. We have city station, and, and rightfully uh, placed uh, in, in this vicinity. And uh, I would like to um, request the people of Tabua to celebrate our freedom, to celebrate the things we have achieved in the last 50 years. And this is time for celebration. So I encourage all of you on 10th of October, make sure you wear blue and be visible everywhere. It's a time for celebration. So ladies and uh, gentlemen, to mark this occasion, the 50 years of our independence, 
we are now, we have actually erected a fountain that you can see ahead of me. And this fountain is now dedicated to those miners who are no longer living in this world, they have passed on, but also the current miners who are working in the mining industry and contributing to the growth of this town. As a small industry, mining industry, it has made a huge impact, not small impact. It is the money that the families gain from the mining industry that have been spending and that's how our marketplace has grown. For the, for the people of Tahua, I would like to say to you that yes, we are celebrating our 50 years of independence, but the government is committed to grow this town bigger and we are working on our Tahua market and hopefully I'll be able to share with you the concept plan of Tahua market at least by the end of this year as soon as we are able to sort out the land. So with these words, ladies and gentlemen, I now say to you, Minaka Bakalebu, thank you for being here, and please enjoy the festivity. And I encourage you to also reflect and also look forward. Because looking forward is where our future is, not looking backwards. If we look backwards, it's more to do with appreciation and we must appreciate all those individuals who have contributed to the growth of this town and to the growth of this country. So thank you very much. Thanks for the idea. Thank you.